नमस्कार म अम्बिका हाङबाङ अंग्रेजी सिकेरी र कार्यक्रममा यहाँहरुलाई स्वागत छ चैत्र 11 गते यता देश लकडाउनमा छ लकडाउन विस्तारै खुकुलो हुँदै छ सायद विद्यालय नि खुल्ने दिन आउला हैन त आज पनि रेडियोको माध्यमबाट शिक्षा लिने दिने उद्देश्यको साथ उपस्थित भइसकेका छौ विद्यार्थी भाइ बहिनी हो अब रेडियो सिट नजिक आउनुहोस् है यो अंग्रेजी से कई रेडियो कार्यक्रम हर एक दिन से समय में रेडियो तमोर एक सौ दो में गाहर जरा रेडियो अठाई एक सौ एक थप्पड़ दो में गाहर में सुनना सकने ने सा साथ ही यूट्यूब चैनल सब्सक्राइब करें रा हैरना रा सुनना सकने ने सा नोटबुक कॉलम पाठ्य पुस्तक रा रिकॉर्ड करना मिलने सामग्री तैयारी � आजको बसेमा अनिवार्य अंग्रेजी विषय अंतर्गत कक्षा 10 को युनिट 12 मा पढाइ हुने टकिङ अबाउट पर्सनल एक्सपीरियन्स को अर्को अंक लिएर आइसकेका छौ विद्यार्थी भाइ बहिनीहरु तयार हुनुहुन्छ हैन आजको प्रस्तुतिका झलकहरु लाइक स्टार्स कन्टीन्युअस एज द स्टार्स दैट शाइन दोज डेफोडिल्स वेर लाइक स्टार्स दैट Sign and विद्यार्थी भाई बनेरो डिलाना गरी आज आपको बस एक उठान गरी हालाऊं प्रस्तुति सहित आऊं दही होने उनसा संति बस नेत लता अब कक्षा कोटा में प्रवेश करों उनसा है ना नमस्ते स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू द क्लास I am Shanti Basnet, present here to continue Unit 12, titled Talking about Personal Experience from Grade 10 English Book. So, dear students, in today's session, we will Continue the exercises based on the poem I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud. You have already learned the poem, so we will do other remaining exercises. And students, you have already done one exercise in the previous class that is vocabulary in use question one you have filled the cross word puzzle in today's class you can continue the remaining exercises so without getting delayed let's go to the class and i request you to Turn to your book at page number 135, 135. Look at question number 2. Vocabulary in use, question 2. Read the poem and match the following words with their meanings so it's very clear you are given words in the left hand side and meanings of the words in the right hand side i hope that will not be difficult for you because ma'am has already explained the poem and the meanings do not worry, even if you are new in today's class, we will together do the exercise. Now, the first word is vacant. Pronounce the word vacant. Vacant means 
empty empty so you can match it or you can write it in your copy next word is sprightly sprightly means lively full of life and full of energy the next word is sprightly sprightly means lively full of life and energy students sometimes you might not know the meaning of the words so still you have to write the answer what should you do at the time you can guess but how do you guess you have to know that the words and the word meanings sometimes will have the same form i meant to say they will be of the same part of speech for example this sprightly word is adverb so the meaning also sometimes will be in adverbial form so lively is an adverb so this way we can match let me tell you hami lai kunai bela artha na jane pani tyo abhyas garnu parne huncha ra tyo bela hami le guess garna sakinchha jastai sprightly bhanne word adverb form ma cha bhani testai adverb form ma bhakai word sanga jora milaunda ya meaning lekhta milne sambhavna dherai huncha jasto yaha lively pani adverb form mai cha and pray jasto euti form ma huni gardachan that was just a small tip for you now let's move on to the third word couch couch means a sofa a long comfortable seat next gaze gaze means to look steadily sparkling sparkling means shining and flashing with light next bay bay means a broad inlet of the sea where the land curves inwards next stretched stretched means extended next gay gay means cheerful that means happy students have you completed matching it all right then let's move to the next exercise look at exercise 2 at page number 135 that's the same page reading comprehension 1 read the poem again and answer these questions you are given few questions related to the poem that you have learned earlier now we will check the understanding through the questions or by answering to the questions given here let me begin with the first question who is compared with a cloud in this question who the question who refers to a person so find a person who is speaking in the poem kaslai chai badal sanga tulana gariyeko cha you can try the answer because you know what is the answer the speaker is compared with the cloud yes the speaker is compared with the cloud or you can also write the answer the poet all right the poet is 
compared with the cloud in the poem. Next question. Where did the person in the poem see the daffodils? Daffodils are the flowers, isn't it? So, where refers to a place. So, see in the first stanza, fifth line. Beside the lake and beneath the trees. Beneath the trees means under the tree. That's the answer you got to write. So you can write the complete sentence. The person in the poem saw the daffodils beside the lake and beneath the trees. The person in the poem saw the daffodils beside the lake and beneath the trees. That's the answer for question B. Question number C. What word does the poet use to compare the daffodils with? Yo kabitama kabile ti phool haru ko tulana garna kun sabda ko prayog garchan? To find the answer, you can look at the line in the second stanza of the poem. First line of the second stanza. Continuous as the stars that shine. So, like what? Like stars. Yes. That's the answer to this question. The poet uses, since this question is in the present form, your answer also should be in the present form. So we are using the word uses. The poet uses the word star to compare with the daffodils. So you can write the answer like this. Question number D. The speaker dances with the daffodils. Why? Now, students, this line is taken from the last stanza of the poem. You can look at the last two lines. And then, my heart with pleasure fills. Pleasure fills means happiness filled and dances with the daffodils so the line says my heart with pleasure feels and dances with daffodils it means the person or the speaker was very happy or happiness fills his heart and so he dances so we can write the answer same as the statement of the question, only giving the reason. The speaker dances with the daffodils because he is happy. Simple answer is okay for this. The fifth question. What is the theme of the poem? Students, theme means main or central idea of the poem after learning the poem i think you have got some idea what the poem is about so what do you think is the main idea of the poem let me help you the main theme of the poem is that we must experience and enjoy the beauty of the nature. In the poem, you, you know, the poet enjoys a lot 
seeing the daffodils beside the lake so from this poem we can understand that we must learn to appreciate the beauty of nature as well as we must also experience and enjoy the beauty of the nature sixth question question number f is the loneliness of the first stanza similar to the solitude of the last stanza pohilo stanza ko loneliness word ra antim stanza ko solitude euti ho wa farak cha vidyarthi haru huna ta loneliness ra solitude ko meaning euti huncha jasko artha huncha eklo wa eklpana tara yo kavita ma pahilo vakya ko lonely athaba loneliness bhane ko eklpana ra nirasha व्यक्त गरेको छ भने अन्तिम स्टान्जामा भनेको सलिट्युड चाहिँ फेरि एक्लोपनाको छुट्टै आनन्द र खुशी महसुस भएको कुरा व्यक्त गर्दछ त्यसैले यी दुईटाले एक्सप्रेस गर्न खोजेको कुरा एउटै होइन त्यसैले आन्सरमा नो लेख्नु पर्ने हुन्छ सो प्लिज वाइट द कम्प्लिट सेन्टेन्स बिगिनिङ विथ नो नो द लोनलिनेस अफ द फर्स्ट स्टान्जा इज डिफरेन्ट फ्रम द सलिट्युड अफ द लास्ट स्टान्जा इज दट क्लियर यू डोन्ट ह्याभ टु गिभ अ रिजन वाई भनेको छैन त्यसैले यो कारण भन्नु पर्दैन नाउ स्टुडेन्ट लेट्स मुभ अन टु द नेक्स्ट क्वेस्चन रिएरेन्ज द प्याराग्राफ्स गिभन बिलो इन द करेक्ट अर्डर सो द्याट दे मेक द कम्प्लिट summary of the poem hope you understood this question look at the same page 135 reading comprehension question 2 so you need to arrange these four paragraphs and each paragraph is रिलेटेड टु वन स्टान्जा अफ द पोएम यो प्रत्येक अनुच्छेद चाहिँ एउटा एउटा स्टान्जा पोएमको एक एक स्टान्जासँग रिलेट गरिएको छ अब यसलाई हामी पढ्नेछौँ र कुन स्टान्जासँग मिल्दो छ पत्ता लगाउने छौँ है that sign and twinkle on the milky way they were stretched endlessly along the shore the speaker saw 10000 daffodils tossing their heads in a sprightly dance so which stanza of the poem does this paragraph relate with yo anuched kun chai stanza sanga mildo cha ta it relates with the second stanza yes you are correct it relates with the second stanza of the poem now next paragraph the speaker was wondering 
alone like a floating cloud on high over valleys and hills. Suddenly, he saw a crowd of golden daffodils beside the lake beneath the trees. They were fluttering and dancing in the breeze. Can you try this as well? Which stanza of the poem does this paragraph match with? Yes, it relates with the first stanza. Exactly. This beast paragraph relates with the first stanza of the poem. You can find this very easily because there are words, the same words used in the first stanza of the poem and in this paragraph, the words like, uh, I wandered lonely as a cloud. Here in the paragraph, the speaker was wandering alone like a floating cloud on a high over valleys and hills. So it all relates with the first stanza. So we are pretty sure about this. Now I'm reading paragraph third for you. You can also read it together with me. For now, whenever he lies on his couch in vacant or pensive mood, the memory flashes upon the inward eye that is bliss of solitude. Then his heart is filled with pleasure and dances with the daffodils. So this is the third stanza. So let's try to match this in the poem. Look at the last uh, stanza of the poem for often or for often, mostly it is pronounced as often. So for often when on my couch I lie in vacant or in pensive mood, they flash upon that inward eye which is the bliss of, bliss of solitude. And then my heart with pleasure fills and dances with the daffodils. So this stanza is very clear. And this paragraph C links with the fourth stanza of the poem. Let's continue the last paragraph. Let me read this and I hope you are also reading together with me. The waves beside them were also dancing. But... They were not as beautiful as daffodils. There he could not do anything but be happy in such a joyful company of flowers. He gazed and gazed, but did not realize what wealth the scene would bring him. So the odd Order of the paragraph will be easy for you now because we have already done the three and the last remaining is the third stanza. So this fourth paragraph links with the third stanza. There is no confusion because the third stanza says that the speaker is happy with the joyful company and it also talks about the happiness the poet feels by looking at those daffodils so this is no doubt it relates with the third stanza of the poem so now it's your turn to order them and write it in your copy the correct order of the paragraph is B, A, D, and C. Vidyatiru aba mati dieko justo na baira elai krom milaira liknu parni huncha aba tapai le isle ek afno copy masarda B 
रही चाहिए पैली लेख्होस् ते पच्छे ए अनुच्छेद लेख्होस् ते पच्छे डी रंतिम में सी अनुच्छेद आपको कपी में लेख्होस् अोएम को समरी कंप्लीट हो बुझ् Students, now we are towards the end of the class. So I request you to get your copy and a pen ready to write some questions for your homework. So the homework questions are, please write down the question, write true for true. And false for false statements. So let me repeat. Write true, T R U E true for true, and false for false statements. This is not a new question, so you know how to write it. Question number A. The poet, P O E T poet, walks, W A L. K S walks near N E A R near the lake L A K E lake. The poet walks near the lake. Your true or your false? The pahle likhnu pani unsai. Question B. Golden daffodils are fluttering and dancing. इसको ये वर्ड्स को स्पेलिंग्स और वो तबाय को पोइम में पिंचन त्यहाँ पे चेक करना सकते हैं उनसा गोल्डन डेफोडिल्स G O L D E N गोल्डन D A F F O D I L S डेफोडिल्स R फ्लटरिंग F L U T T E R I N G फ्लटरिंग एंड डांसिंग फुल स्टॉप Golden daffodils are fluttering and dancing. Next sentence: The daffodils are compared with shining stars. The daffodils, same spelling already you have written, are compared. C O M P A R E D compared with shining stars. One more question. One more last sentence. The speaker feels unhappy after seeing the daffodils. The speaker, S P E A K E R, speaker feels F E E L S feels unhappy after seeing the daffodils. S E E I N G seeing the daffodils. All right, these are the four true/false questions. Now read the poem again. Go through the lines of the poem and try to find the correct yeah answer of the questions. I hope you can do this students. Dear students, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed learning today's class and we will meet in the next class again. Till then, have a good time. Bye bye. शांति बस्नेत मिसलाई धन्यवाद कार्यक्रम कस्तो लाग्यो त आजको बसाई सिकेमूलक पनि होला कार्यक्रम सुन्दै प्रश्न तथा जिज्ञासा टिपट गर्नु भएकै होला हैन त प्रश्न तथा जिज्ञासा अंग्रेजी सिकाइ रेडियो कार्यक्रमको फेसबुक पेज @radioeduceatiunspf को इनबक्समा र radioeduceatiunspf@gmail.com मा पठाउन सक्नुहुनेछ प्रश्न तथा जिज्ञासा को समाधान सहित थप सकते भोलि को कार्यक्रम में पुनः भेट होने
पठन पठन को क्रम को नजीका सब है निम्न ठेगा नामा संपर्क गर्न सकनु नेचा ठेगा नाले संपर्क टिपना तो यार उन्हें सही ह्यूमेन प्रैक्टिस फाउंडेशन फंगलिंग नवर पालिका चार था प्लेज हूँ फोन नंबर जीरो चौबीस चार एक ठीक जीरो सर चालीस अवस्था आगे मैं आपका मापूना बिटू नेचा मां भी कांग मोबी दांसू नमस्ते